Hello, New York City. This is Andre Roy, and we're here with Safi Thomas, the founder of the Hip Hop Dance Conservatory. You probably saw him on our first ever pod about hip hop dance. And Safi, we're here, part two, Hip Hop Dance Conservatory. Yeah, man. What's going on today? What's What's everyone here for? Um, well, we're going. We're doing our summer intensive uh, every year. Uh, we do a summer intensive where dancers from all over the world um, come to us to train in hip hop dance. Okay. Um, it's pretty much a, one of the largest um, hip hop oriented summer intensives. We're the only hip hop summer intensive that's in New York City. Um, and because we're the only conservatory exactly. that's in New York City. So. All you dancers out there, hip hop dancers, this is the yeah, place man. to be. Um, and we have people that, I mean, we have people from all over the world, from Russia, from Canada, from but England, I mean, we've got people from all over the place, Scotland, so mm. it's it's pretty hectic. What's the difference between the Hip Hop Dance Conservatory and other studios in New York City? Um, I think one of the key differences between us and other dance studios is the fact that we're not a studio. We're an actual school for dance, mm. um, which means that we have courses in just like a, a Juilliard would for um, dance theory, music theory, and things like that. That's what we do for hip hop dance. So we have dance theory classes, we have um, dance kinesiology, anatomy and physiology, health and nutrition, everything that you would get. Uh, in a BFA program, but it's all centered around hip hop dance. And so we're a conservatory. So we're a conservatory for hip hop. Just like there's jazz conservatories and ballet conservatories and things like that, we are a conservatory that's specifically for hip hop. So we specialize in hip hop dance and we want to make sure that our dancers have an education. Um, most studios, it's just about, you know, the hottest choreographer with the hottest choreography. And it's not really about teaching them. It's more about, you know what, hey, you know, let's get a body in here uh, so we can make some money to keep the studio going. Um, for us, it's more about are we educating our dancers so that they can get out there and actually have longevity within our industry, not to get them out and just push them into an audition or something like that. We want to make sure that they are capable and that they're able to go out and have a strong career in dance. So we want to know what is the summer intensive program and what do the students have in store for them? Well, um, the summer intensive program is pretty much our year's curriculum uh, truncated into a two month program. So for the next eight weeks, these dancers are pretty much going to be tortured. Um, <laughs> it's going to be centered around everything um, from we want to get them physically capable. We want to make sure that they have good endurance, stamina and strength. So it's two months of pretty much killing them, both physically and mentally. Um, think of it as a boot camp for hip hop, pretty much, um, because we do have a paramilitary structure and that's our training methodology. So what we do is we hit them off from the first day. We're going to be doing um, a wushu exercise, which is a martial art um, called arms out. And what they have to do, they just have to stand with their arms out for the first 10 minutes of class. Um, it's really um, more about a focus and developing, it's sort of a meditation um, where you kind of get rid of everything from the day and it's just understanding and getting the understanding that your mind is what controls your body, not your body controlling you. Um, and that we make choices and those choices are what makes us the good dancer or the not so good dancer. Um, so we start off with that and then from there we're going to be doing things like stretching them out, making sure that we give them a proper warm up. Uh, in most dance studios you have a warm up that lasts maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Our warm ups are an hour and a half long. Wow. Um, and we take them through everything from calisthenics, stretch, uh, medium tempo warm up, a high tempo warm up and then we cool them down with uh, their first piece of choreography. So um, I mean they're going to be doing a lot of stuff. It's going to be like road rules because we're going to be doing challenges in New York City, all over the city. Uh, they're going to have to get things done within a certain amount of time. Uh, all these things are centered around making sure that they have an understanding as to what their capabilities are because a lot of people are not aware of how good they really are. So tell us a little bit about the blade technique. Um, well, the blade technique um, is just like any other um, dance technique or like you, where you have like the Alexander technique or um, something like that. It's a blade stands for building leaders through the advancement of dance education. Um, and that's pretty much um, comes from the Blade Academy. And that's where we started from. That's where the Hip Hop Dance Conservatory comes from. We came out of the Blade Academy, uh, which was the first uh, organization about 10 years ago to really um, bring a curriculum 
into hip hop and put hip hop into a codification or to actually start noting down what moves are, where they come from, who they come from, what's the history behind it, things like that. Um, the blade technique is pretty much about taking all the real elements of hip hop, popping, locking, breaking, all the funk styles, and taking that and putting it into choreography, into technical choreography. Um, a lot of elements were lost over the years, over the past three decades, because of the fact that people didn't know how to do those elements, so they just stuck to things like jazz, or they threw some, you know, some you know, jazz funk and stuff in there, and we lost our culture. Um, so what we're looking to do is try to infuse real hip-hop back into choreography. So Safi, what is the end result of your teaching methods and the dancer's hard work? Um, well, everything culminates into one big, large performance that we do uh, at the end of the summer intensive, uh, and that's an opportunity for them to invite family, friends. Uh, we have people from the industry come down, um, and they just put on a fantastic performance. Um, the performance is mostly created in part by them. Um, so it, they get an opportunity to understand what it takes to actually put a show on. Um, a lot of times as dancers, we don't really have an understanding of the logistics to putting on a real performance. Um, and so this takes them through the actual step-by-step -step and the play-by-play -play of stage direction, uh, floor patterns, uh, formations, things like that, like what do they have to do in order to get to the final product. And so that's pretty much what it is. That's going to be their final product, that big show, that culminating show at the end. Uh, and then they have their graduation right after that. So it's everything happening within like a three hour, it's going to be a three hour pretty much extra extravaganza where they're just doing everything. So Safi, tell everyone where can we learn more information about the Hip Hop Dance Conservatory and the Summer Intensive Program? Um, well, for the Summer Intensive Program, just go to our website, um, www.hdcny.org. Uh, it's www.hdcny.org. Um, and everything's right there. You can sign up online, you can click, pay online, everything can be done from our website. And you guys want to know more, go to www.hellonycity.com. You're going to see a dope video. You're going to find yeah. out information. You're going to find out everything there is to know about the Hip Hop Dance Conservatory, the Summer Intensive Program, and uh, stay tuned for what's, what's next to come at the end of the summer. It's going to be a hot show. Make sure you guys show up, because I know we will. Okay. Zafi, so, it's been fun. We'll see you there. Let's get back upstairs and uh, see what these guys are doing.